Okay, to get really pure drinking water, particularly if you're in an area that has fluoride in the water system, really the only way, the only option, is to use a water distiller. You can use reverse osmosis systems, they will get rid of the fluoride as well. However, they're very wasteful for every litre of water that you get to drink, four goes down the drain. So this is a 16 litre automatic distiller. As you can see, it's just plugged into next to the um, washing machine here. So it's permanently got a water supply. And you'll see it's got a gauge here. So right now this is about three quarters full. When this gets down to about halfway, it just kicks on. And basically it starts just a little system. It's just like how water's created on planet Earth. You know, the water evaporates in here. It heats up, it evaporates, and then it drips down through here and here we've got a charcoal filter so basically it's just this little cylinder and we put charcoal in it which makes it taste sweet again because distilled water tastes pretty nothing you know so the charcoal just adds a little sweetness pop that inside the little the little charcoal container up there so it's a very simple system it does about 16 liters every 24 hours, which is really adequate for Rooney and I, and also our, you know, our team that work with us and visitors. Um, we like it because it's automatic. You can get a lot of uh, countertop distillers, which are also work very well, but you need to manually be filling them. So the beauty of this is it, it fills by itself. If you also look up here, I've shown you our whole house filtration system. This also comes with a water, a carbon filter as well. So our water is being carbon filtered twice before it even gets to the distiller, which is kind of good because um, you can get sediment buildups, calcium things building up inside the distiller, and every so often you need to just give it a clean with some cleaning crystals. Yeah, but basically I've been very happy with the unit, and you know you can get all these fancy ionizers and you know whiz bang uh, water filters, but none of them are going to remove all of the fluoride. Really only di distillation will do that. The other thing with distillation is it'll remove any negative imprints of energy. You might have seen Dr. Emoto's studies on doing dark field photography on water crystals. Well, often the negative energy, even if the, the actual chemicals and pesticides have been removed from the water, there can be a negative imprint in the water. This neutralizes all negative imprints in the water, brings it back to neutral again. And then we can look at ways that we can charge our water to make it alive again because this water some people say is dead but I would say rather it's neutral and it's not that difficult to enliven it again and we'll show you how to do that now.